What's up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So, so check this out, y'all. Before we get going on our video today, y'all smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Um, turn on your notifications and go follow me on Twitter at KO Boxing 86 TV is the Twitter handle. Um, and then if you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, Knockout Boxing 86 at Yahoo.com is the email address. And y'all be sure to check out our live shows. We go live every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. I'll be live tomorrow, which is Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Where we'll be predicting and breaking down all the fights for this weekend. Um, and then also we live every Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time with the singing OG KQKC Boxing network but let's let's get to the video man um so gary russell jr says he's injured but it doesn't say what it is um and let's talk about it for his upcoming fight because he's fighting in two days and, and let me tell y'all what i think of this whole situation right so he says i never go into any of my fights 100 percent. to be honest with you i do have a little slight injury but i prefer not to elaborate on it until after the fight we're going to get through this fight we're going we're still going to make things shake and then we'll go ahead and put it out there after it's all said and done. Listen, man, this is... So, here's my issue with this, right? And why I don't like it. Because it does nothing good. It's negative for your haters. And it's negative for the people that really rock with you. And it's negative for boxing fans that are in the middle that just want to see a good fight. And here's why. Like, the when you when you say that number one if you going if you saying you injured then you letting your opponent know that you you probably ain't your best or maybe you trying to play court whatever it is but i don't like the idea of a fighter talking about he got a slight injury no matter who it is i rock with gary russell jr heavy you know what i'm saying like i i, I want nothing but the best for him but all it does is give people that that criticize you it gives them ammunition. And you, and you know what, what the tune will be. Y'all know what it is. People that don't really rock with him. Like, ah, man, see? He already making excuses. He already making excuses for why he might look bad in case Mark McSayo either win the fight or he don't win as convincingly or it's a draw or something. He already making excuses trying to say he was coming into the coming into the fight hurt, planting that seed. He trying to plant that seed. Like, that's what people going to say. Like, why even give them room for that? Why even give them room for that leading up into the fight? You understand what I'm saying? And then furthermore, the people that really rock with you, like, I ain't saying they will do this, but I don't really want to hear people that rock with Gary Russell Jr., which I do too. I don't want to hear people saying, oh, man, he injured. You know what I'm saying? But he's still going to go do this, or he still did that, because it just gives them an excuse after the fight if you don't look as good as people expect you to look that are picking you to win this fight. You want to know if I'm picking them to win the fight? You got to check out our live stream tomorrow, man. You got to check out our live stream tomorrow. So that's my, that's why I don't like it. And then furthermore, like, don't give me half of the story. If you Gary Russell Jr. or any other fighter, I, I can't stand an announcement of an announcement. Like, I, I can't stand, like, hey, we got a big announcement coming. Like, bro, just make the announcement. I don't like that shit. I can't stand, you know what I'm saying, when you, when you like, oh, I got an injury. Oh, damn, for real, bro, what's wrong with you? Ah, shit, I can't tell y'all. Well, bro, don't say nothing at all, fam. Why you eat, why you even say something? If you ain't gonna tell us what the injury is, why you even letting us know you injured? If you gonna give us all the details after the fight, and you say you still gonna make make things shaky for those y'all that don't understand what that means, make things shaky. Saying we still gonna put on, we still gonna win, I'm still gonna do my thing. So if you still gonna do your thing, and you're not gonna tell us the injury anyway before the fight, why you even telling us you injured, bro? That's what I need y'all to answer in the comment section. So he ain't gonna tell us what his injury is. He gonna make things shake and he gonna do what he need to do anyway, right? So if you gonna do what you need to do anyway, and you're not gonna tell us what the injury is, why are you even telling us that you injured in the first place? What's the motive behind that? And I'm sorry, when I look at it from like that and I analyze everything and I break it down, you just plan to see, in my opinion, he just planned the seed in case he don't look as impressive as we expect him to look. In my opinion, he's just playing the seed in case something goes wrong in the fight. And he's dealing with a lot. He's dealing with enough. You know, shout out to, to him and his family. I, I hate what their father is going through. I wish them nothing but the best with that. But fans don't want to hear that, bro, to be perfectly honest with y'all. Like, fans don't want to hear anything that sounds like an excuse from an athlete. 
because people not like people not gonna care if you show up in the ring if you fighting anyway you know you say that for after the fight and you provide your proof and then it's, when it's a fact it's just not an excuse at all you know and i ain't saying he making excuses i'm just saying it's a bad look he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have came out and did this he shouldn't have came out and did this whatsoever i don't care what you try to tell me because even after the fight even after the fight people are still gonna be like oh man he was just he was just making excuses. He ain't really injured. Like, people ain't gonna believe you no way that they really don't rock with you. And then people that do rock with you, you don't really want him, you don't want them running around here, you know, in comment sections, hopping on panels and shit. You know, when somebody say, well, look, man, Gary Russell Jr., he ain't look good. He won. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. He won the fight, but he ain't look good. Then people that's rocking with you, that's going to be their first talking point. Well, he was injured. He had X, Y, and Z going on. Like, I, I don't like when you give yourself an out before the fight. I, I don't like that. I don't like, like, no, nah, we expect a good performance. Just like we ain't making no excuses for your Dennis Ugas with his bicep. I don't really want to hear nothing about an injury, to be honest with y'all. Like, if you go, if you, if you fighting... If you going in that ring and you fighting, you getting paid, you collecting your purse. I don't want to hear nothing about a slight injury. Then if the injury slight, he said, I got a slight injury. It's a little slight injury, little and slight. So it's double small. It's little and it's slight. And you're going to do your thing anyway. It's a little slight injury. I don't want to elaborate until after the fight. We're going to get through this and we still going to make things shake. So what are we talking about then, Gary? Mr. Gary Russell Jr., excuse me. What are we talking about then, my brother? Like, why even give people that quote to run with? I, I, I didn't like that, man. I didn't like that at all. I think that there's other things he could do and say, you know, that that would be that would have been better in, in that spot. I don't know the context of him. If they asked him about, is he 100%? Is it a good training camp? I believe even if it wasn't like you tell him you're doing great, you don't want to give your opponent no confidence. You don't want to give them no reason to think that you ain't going to come in there and beat their ass. Now, Mark McSayo and his team looking at it like, oh, yeah, we got him injured. You know what I'm saying? He ain't going to be a hunter. He already been out the ring for two years. We coming to do what we do. We coming to take care of business. And so I just, I don't know, man. I think it's a. I think it's a, a bad move, in my opinion, you know? I, that's just what I think about the whole situation. As far as expectations for the fight, I'll let y'all know that tomorrow, but I'm excited for this fight. I'm excited for this fight card. I can't wait to cover it on our live stream tomorrow. For those of y'all that are true boxing heads, that love the boxing breakdowns, and that love to talk about what you think could happen and what should happen inside the ring, y'all got to come through tomorrow night for our live show. We're going to be covering this fight. We're going to be covering all the fights from this card, and it's a good card. It's a very good card, very interesting card. A lot of nice young talent on this card. And then some, some veterans in the game. A great rematch. A great rematch on this card is the co-main event. So really, really um, looking forward to it. Overall, though, I'm going to say it right now. So we got this out there before the fight. Whether I pick Gary Russell to win or I pick him to lose. Whether I pick um, whether he has a great performance or he has a, a subpar performance. If the fight ends in the draw, whatever it is, with Gary Russell Jr., let me say this and make this clear, man. Let me make it very, very clear for y'all. No excuses. None whatsoever. The man going there, he fight. I don't want to hear nothing about no slight injury. <clears throat> I don't want to hear nothing about he didn't do this, he didn't do that because he was injured. I'm not trying to hear that, man. So good luck to, to both fighters. You know, and I hope that Gary Russell is able to 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 overcome and, and he goes in a good version of himself and, and shows a good account of himself, win, lose, or draw. That's all I got for y'all. But I appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, Don't forget about our live show tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. We're going live and we're breaking down and predicting the entire Gary Russell McSayo fight card. Also, um, live show Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Central Time with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. And then I'm back live every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, where we discuss the hottest topics in boxing. I appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace, y'all.